That's a good one. Pooped. Ooh. It's exam day. It's fucking exam day. We're ready. Yo. What's up? Just heard this, but apparently we're having a summer festival soon. I heard there's gonna be shit like kebab, steaks, the hot stuff. Dude, I'm so pumped! What about studying, my dude? Come on, man. Well, uh, I'll figure it out. There's some English on the website too. Oh man, I'm hungry. Let's get going already. Sick. We're getting top of the class, so I'm looking at the exam answers. Wow. That was a crazy burp. I wonder why. It's a little... It seems a little iffy. It seems a little choppy. Today is the first day of your final exams. Begin! The, if angle C is 28 degrees and angles A and D are 88 degrees, what is the angle of B and E? Yeah. I'm not doing... Ooh, we can do this. I'm not doing this. Huh? Mm. Let's see, an essay question. This looks tough, but let's calm down and think it through. S explain the origin of Bowsey. Uh, Bowsy in this hot weather? Well, never mind. I think this came up in class. They were invented by that famous guy from Romance of the Three Kingdoms, right? Yep, yep. I kind of knew that one. I, rem I kind of remember that one. I remember that Zug. That was a tough one. Yeah, the strategist of Shu. Or strategist. Strategist. I think the story was about a river overflowing somewhere Zhu Liang visited. They were offering something to quell the river. That's it. A crazy story. That's how he came up with the Bowsy, right? The master strategist came up with the Bowsy too? To offer them instead of heads. Yeah, I think you're right. The Bowsy were invented as an offering to a river spirit to replace the tradition of offering severed heads. Yep. You finished in time. Damn right it did. Uh, time is up. <clears throat> Give it up already. Alright. Now it's daytime, daytime. This is the second day of finals. You may begin. Write the name and genus of this organism. Is it king crab? Ooh, we can do that this. sounds about right. What happened when the government issued paper and, hand and hard currencies in Japan for the first time? It caused confusion in the economy. Ooh, we can do this. Sounds about right. Let's get started. Today is the third day of finals. Are you ready? Then you may begin. What is the English equivalent of the Norwegian idiom reigning witches? Cats and dogs. That's what Ooh, I do we can do this. Which of the following is another name of the Sumen noodles traditionally eaten on Tanabata? I don't know that one. Demon innards. That's what Ooh, the thing we said. Can do this. All right, Morgana. I hear you. I've heard you a couple times already. Side day. Hmm. Today's the last day of exams, huh? You've seen all these before. You've got this. All right. Nice. It's going good. Looking forward to seeing your score. It wasn't that bad. Huh? Probably could have managed if I had an extra week, too. An extra week, huh? The only people who get that kind of cushy treatment are the honor students. The smart people. Oh, you mean 
at Yoshizawa-san. I heard the school moved her exam period. It must be nice getting perks like that. Hey there. Congrats on surviving finals. Today was the last day, right? Yes. Say, would you happen to have some free time right now? There's something I'd like to discuss. I promise it'll just take a moment. Sure. Thanks. I know you're exhausted, so I'll make this quick. It sure has heated up now that the rainy season's passed. I just know my electric bill is going to start climbing this month. Mm-hmm. Anyway, as I'd mentioned, there's something I'd like your opinion on. Okay. Do you need counseling? Well, I suppose that's actually accurate. I've had something on my mind lately, and I want to hear your take on it. Okay. Okay, here goes. Oh, this is all hypothetical, mind you, but imagine there's somebody for whom you have high expectations. Yes. They're trying their absolute hardest to meet those expectations. Now, this person receives an awful lot of special treatment from people so they can perform to the best of their abilities. So, what do you think those people will do if the expectations leveled on this person aren't met? They'll be disappointed, they'll turn on that person. They'll turn on that person. You're saying their expectations will turn into anger and scorn, right? Yep, that's definitely true. When you work as a counselor, you always think, I have to help this person so their heart doesn't break. But that's easier said than done. Easier said this than done. This world really is a callous one. No matter how much positivity or dedication a person has, just a bit of influence from their peers can easily mess with their heads. Every time I'm confronted with such a situation, I can't help but grasp the limitations of therapy as a profession. Uh, reality is often disappointing. You just have to keep trying. Oh, I'm not sick of this job or anything like that. Don't worry. You better not be. You're a good counselor. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to get you all dork. analytical. I love it. What I meant was, if we want to truly help people stuck in a predicament like that, we need a fundamental solution. Like what? Hmm. Nothing really comes to mind at the moment. This is just a thought, but what if we got the Phantom Thieves to change our hearts? Maybe have them shift our feelings so we won't lose to this unfair reality. It would ultimately be for the positive. Is that really a change of heart, though? <laughs> Good point. You're right. Sorry, I was just thinking out loud. I seem to have lost track of the time. I should be getting back to my work. Sick. Our conversation's been very enlightening. Thank you. Dude, you're welcome. And enjoy your vacation. Exams are finally over. Oh, I'm so exhausted. Hell yeah. Oh, I can get back to actually sleeping in peace. Yeah, my nose. Hmm. You must have been studying pretty hard if it kept you up at night. Nah, I was up playing video games. Slacking off is just too much fun. Ryuji, shame on you. I know, right? I kept cleaning my room instead of studying. I might even be too clean now. You two are perfect exemplars of what escapism can mean. <sighs> and I can only imagine what the end result will be. Whatever! It's over with now. Who cares about that anymore? What's real important is the Phantom Thieves' popularity. <laughs> Ain't it amazing? 
kind of feels like our time's finally here. That's all. That's all he cares about. Fair, but that's all he cares about. People excitedly speculating about our next target. He will. There's Oops. no need to hurry. Bad fingers. We should spend some time thinking it over. Hold up. The most important thing now is our celebration party. I hope you guys didn't forget. It's the fireworks festival on the 18th. I guess we're good meeting up in Shibuya, yeah? Let's say 5 p.m. You sure are on top of these kinds of things. He has to be, right? Now for the weather. Seems we'll continue to have localized torrential rainstorms all through next week. If you're heading outside, be prepared for sudden changes in the weather. Be prepared. <sighs> the time just flew by today, huh? Nice. Sick. Let's go to bed. No! No! Hey! No! What? No! I want to do stuff. Quit forcing me to, to do bed. shit, Morgana. Can't do anything. Lame. Hey, it's me. Sorry for calling so late. I wanted to ask you about that summer festival. You remember the one I told you about? I think so. Come on, man. Well, I know so. Damn it. Come on, the whole thing with the kebabs. So like, I completely spaced on it until now, but the festival's tomorrow. So you want to go? Fine, fine. Yeah. Hell yeah! I knew you'd be down. Let's make sure we invite Yusuke too. He's always down to chow. I did just remember they said it might rain tomorrow though. Ah, eh, whatever. No way it's gonna rain on a day like this. See you tomorrow. <sighs> wow. How would he know whether or not it'll rain? Sheesh, all worked up over a silly little festival full of food of all kinds. I suppose you deserve to enjoy yourself, but be sure to keep a low profile, all right? Let's turn in for the night. Anyway. Let's get some sleep. Oh, and uh, no sleeping in, got it? I'm gonna skip breakfast for this. Morgana's adorable. What's up? Mm. What? Well, why? Why are you staring at my face? Ryuji, I have a favor to ask. Oh, a no. favor? Oh no. Sure, you need some money for food or something? Not this time. I've actually been mulling over a new battle tactic for a while now. And I'd like for you to lend a hand in bringing my idea to fruition. Oh, a new move? That Showtime, baby. Ass. I totally want in. Well, it's merely a rough idea at this point, but... What do you think? Wasn't that, like... Way more detailed than some rough idea? Huh. Well, I don't deserve such praise. I would merely prefer to add a splash of beauty to an otherwise barbaric battlefield, so to speak. Hell yeah. Sick! So, uh, all we gotta do now is see how the star reacts to your idea, right? We should consult Jose about this soon. However, Good old I Jose. can feel my appetite growing after describing my idea. <laughs> Same here. What a, what a good game. It's so hot. It's as if we're walking around in an enormous sauna. Whose bright idea was it to come here? Yours. Why is Yusuke wearing long crowd, pants and a long sleeve t-shirt? Smiling faces you look. With that, let's move right into asking some of the visitors here for their comments. A TV crew, huh? Better not stand out. We should grab our kebabs and get out of here. We should grab our kebabs Let's and get out of here. Those three. Ah, fuck! Hey, is she talking about us? What the? Yeah. What do we do? Uh, let's make a run for it. That would just make us appear even more suspicious. Oh. They got us. Oh, hell. Okay, I'm gonna ham it up, make some real cringy comments, so they can't use any of the footage. Hello. It sure is hot today, huh? Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. 
And if it's this hot in July, can you imagine just how insane the weather's gonna be in December? Uh, anyway, since you're here for the festival, does that mean no. you and your friends there no. are meat lovers? Uh, I'd say that we're really lovers of fruit. Oh, and sweets. <laughs> sweets are just to die for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, thank you very much for your time. Oof, that was too close. That was truly cringeworthy. But are you certain that they won't air any of it? Oh, they're gonna air all of it. I'm pretty sure she thought there was a broadcast disaster. We ought to be okay. More important than that, though, it's time to get some meat. Meat, baby! Oh, right! I can bob! The lines for the food stalls were even more insane than the heat! Standing around in this sweltering heat was rather trying. And almost all the good stuff was already sold out! I didn't even eat breakfast this morning. I'm starting to get lightheaded. Well, Morgana, maybe you should have eaten breakfast. Whose fault is this? An occasion like this seems to make everything taste delicious. How mysterious. What a great time. <laughs> Even with this sticky sweatiness included. You're damn right, Yusuke. You're damn well, right. I came all the way out here, so we might as well go check that thing out. What thing? I heard they're building some kind of huge ass stadium or something nearby. Uh -oh. Wait, is that what it was? I feel like you don't know what you're talking about, do you? This is probably gonna, you know, have some kind of story importance. The stadium. Well, such buildings often have intriguing architecture. I'd love to see it for personal reference. Sure. Yeah. Then come on, let's go. So, that's it? It barely even started? We seem to be premature spectators. I guess this is what people call jumping the gum. Jumping the gun, Ryuji. Jumping the gun. Eh, there ain't nothing to do here. You want to go grab a bite somewhere? Sorry, I'm considering picking up more art supplies. I have a summer assignment to work no on. No way, Ryuji. I mean, Yusuke, you pick up art supplies? Bullshit. Also, the summer festival drained my coffers. Even if I did grab a bite, all I could order would be water in a hot towel. Water uh, in a hot towel. Well, in that case, probably ought to just call it quits for today. Hmm? Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? Don't you think she's acting strange? Persona! Maybe she did mention something about a yeah! meat earlier. Uh, ain't you guys headed home? We're gonna we're gonna talk to the cool one. Uh, go on ahead without me. Huh? Hmm. Well, see you then. Yes. Catch you later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Senpai. Yoshi Master. What the fuck, dude? Or senior, but whatever. What a pleasant surprise. Yes. Uh, did you come to see the stadium, too? Same here. I needed to give myself a pep talk. Is something wrong? Sometimes, when things get me down, I come here. Although, that doesn't really answer your question, does it? Not really. I know this may get in the way of your plans, but would you be willing to join me for lunch? Dude, of course. Of course. Why wouldn't I? Whew, that was delicious. What did I just witness? I'm always like this after. She a meet. ate so much. My God. In all I'm honesty, impressed. I'd like to keep going, but any more will end up harming my performance. So the meat's done? 
Simply put, it was a disaster. Oh. I've been feeling like I'm getting back into the natural flow of things, thanks to you, Senpai. Woo! But when the moment of truth arrived, my body still wouldn't move the way that I wanted it to. That's a big factor. That's a big factor. You're damn right it is. Something similar happened to me in middle school, but back then, I had someone by my side that kept me going. Who? John Cena? I hope it was John Cena. I really, really hope it's John Cena. <sighs> I have a younger sister god damn it it's not john we cena promised each it other so could be john cena. international gymnastics competitions together but this spring she Maybe. died in an accident oh never mind i promised her we'd take the gold for our routines across the world but i can't stop worrying about my lack of improvement lately i've really been throwing myself into practice but i wonder if even that won't be enough It's not over yet. Senpai. Yes. You're right. It's just getting started. You're damn right, Kasumi. You just keep on rescuing me, don't you? Always. You look at me. Okay. Mr. Mr. No Rescue Boy. There are still more meets left this year. I'm going to start from scratch and train as hard as I can. That's what you should do. That's what I do. Thank you so much for listening to all that. Yeah, you're welcome. Now I feel like I've been recharged, mind, body, and spirit. Fuck yeah. <laughs> With your little polka dot shirt killing well, me. Well, at least my mind and spirit are recharged. Hell yeah. The best way to stave off hunger is with some vigorous activity. I'm going to jog home. Take care. All, all right. That's cool. Have fun, I guess. I don't... I don't know what to say about that. She is. She's super cute. She's great. I love her. You're oh, back. You're back. Yeah, I'm back. How could you, Yoshi? Well, how could I what? We were going to, if you were going to the summer festival, why didn't you invite me? What did you say? What does Mishima know about that? They're showing it on TV. Something about it being hot in December. Or saying sweets are to die for? There's a bit with Sakamoto saying some really crazy stuff. Ugh. Mission failed. Mission? What are you talking about? Look, my point is, next time you guys are going out to have fun, can I come along too? I'm the Phantom Thieves producer, you know. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? Hope Lady On and the others haven't found out. Well, they're about to. I feel like a movie? Everyone's buzzing about the summer debuts. We're just talking about that chick flick, Love Possibly. You get kind of weepy, so it's embarrassing to go alone. Can you come watch it with me? Let's go see a movie together. Let's just do it. Let's be crazy. holding back her tears. She's totally empathizing. The movie's right. A person's true value isn't about social standing or wealth. I feel like I was able to learn about love. Kindness? Charm? Where am I going into that? Charm, baby! Fuck yeah. Oh, I used up two packs of pocket tissues. I guess girls like me want that perfect romantic kind of love you see in the movies. Understandable. <laughs> nice. Thanks for going along with it. Now that I think about it, that movie wasn't geared toward guy towards toward guys at all, huh? Thanks! I'm glad you came with me. You're such a good friend. 
Well, to be fair, let's be honest. I dig a good chick flick. I'm not gonna lie. I will cry at chick flicks. I don't care. I love them. They're really cool. Romantic comedies is a great genre. Yeah, the movies might be bad, but they're great. <laughs> Only used 16 during One Piece. Jesus. That's insane. That's like super emotional. Holy hell. Oh. Oh. Hello, Yoshi Senpai. Thank you so much for earlier. Now I can give it 110% tomorrow at practice. Practice already? Of course. If I rest, I'll dull my senses. Next meet, I'll make it onto the winner's podium, I swear. I won't slip up again like I did before. I'll have some great news next time I see you, I promise. Hey. Looks like Yoshizawa's going to be okay now. She sure had us worried. God damn, I'm always getting text messages. I'm a popular boy. Today's a fireworks festival. Let's meet Shibuya at five. Hey, Makoto, are you going to wear a yukata? I'm planning on it. Yukatas are a great part of the summer tradition. They truly heighten a woman's beauty. I think I'll wear mine as well. You got one? How about you, Davey? I don't, I don't have a yukata. Kano, why don't you come without your glasses? What's the point in that? I don't know. You don't get to see fireworks every day, so it'd be sad just wearing normal clothes. I was just thinking he might want to go for a change of pace. Sounds great. You should totally come without glasses. Well, you guys better not be late. <laughs> Why? I could... Listen, listen, listen. If I went anywhere without my glasses, I would die. Like, I'm blind. <laughs> couldn't go anywhere without my glasses. So maybe he's just got, you know, a reading prescription, you know? Fireworks in Yukata has really added the feeling of summer. Even Lady An will be wearing one. Come to think of it. Oh yeah, there's a fireworks festival today. You're going, be careful. Those things get insanely crowded. Wear a mask. Hey, hey. Oh, I cannot see a single thing. Natural selection would have taken me a long time ago, had glasses not been invented. It'd be nice to watch the fireworks with the Chief someday. We could watch them right here at LeBlanc. Actually, no we couldn't. Right when we were just about to leave, too. Who is it? Hey, I saw some disturbing news online. Sounds like it'll be really bad if it turns out true. What's this about? Well, it seems like an insane group is getting ready to declare war on the Phantom Thieves. I was afraid to just hold on to that information myself. I wanted to tell you at least. That's actually all I have to say though. Sorry to bother you on your day off. What could he mean by an insane group? Well, let's think about this after we get back. We don't have much time, so let's get going. I can see perfectly until I was 18 and something, but I just started feeling. Uh, my glasses. I mean, my vision started failing in second grade. Damn, second so grade. Hot. I broke my glasses in second grade and I had a mental breakdown. The holiday means it's as crowded on here as it is for morning rush hour. News. Now for today's train news. Today's headlines are Fireworks Festival tonight. Expect roads and transportation to be congested for the entire day. Sudden weather change is imminent. Be careful of sudden shifts in climate from afternoon to night. Wait, so all these people are going to the fireworks festival? Ugh, this should be fun. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> I feel like I'm being baked. You are in the back of a backpack. Way too late. Like in in a backpack. We must be taking time for them to put back on a yukata. Backpack. Why aren't you two wearing one? 
I've got clothes like you, Kata. Man, you look way too normal in that. <laughs> and Kyla's gonna tell my mom that I've been a hard time seeing. Uh, the board when she took me in for vision test. Gah. That, to, to start losing your vision at like an older age, that, that's gotta suck. Cause you're just, you can go, you've been going your entire life without having glasses. That sucks. <laughs> like truly, that's, that's shit. I hate that. I'm just used to, I'm so used, to, I've been used to glasses forever. I hate contact, contacts are the worst. I'm kind of scared to get laser vision thanks to Final Destination. People often say that to me. Oh god. Ah, oh, by the way, the exams. Mm -hmm. I bet you got a big fat F on them. Damn! Shut up! We we don't know that yet. Ah, fair enough. Are you going to fair the enough. fireworks festival? That's right. Us too! Wanna go together? I think I do too. I, I don't like I don't like when I take off my glasses, to be honest. Are we getting hit on? <laughs> I think Glenn, Yusuke is getting hit on, together. to be honest. Do you happen to be a model? You look great in that Yukata. Waiting around's a pain, so can we just go with these chicks? Now, nah, let me think about it. A chance like this never comes up. That's enough. You're disgracing your Yukata. You should be more aware of your womanhood. You. Why don't you go after them then? So those are the kinds of girls you like, Ryuji. Uh, well, uh, no, that, that, that's. You know, Yusuke is such a pretty boy, but he is really missing out because of what he says. I guess. And I'm pretty. He's more likable since he stays true to his ideals. I'm pretty sure. I've been told this, so don't hold me on it. But I'm pretty sure. Yusuke is canonically gay. But I'm not totally sure about that. I know Yosuke from P4 is gay. And in like cut content, he confesses his love after you confidant, Max Confidant to you. Which is actually really cool. Because, <laughs> yeah, that's super awesome. Need more of that. Let's need. Let's let's put some more fucking inclusion in video in these games. Definitely I'm down. I'm down for inclusion. I, know. I want inclusion, baby. Indeed, that's right. Trans rights, baby. Do this shit. Ah, oh, I keep hitting the microphone. I heard that Ryuji's pretty much failed his exams. Oh. Mona, you little ha! Mona. Hey, it's gonna get crowded if we don't get going. Agreed. Agreed. But man, you both look amazing in Yukata. Talk about Japanese beauty. 